Bill, or William Ma, was born in New York City in 1956 to a Jewish mother and Catholic father. He was raised Catholic until the age of 13 when his father quit the church. Ma, a comedian, political commentator, and television host, is known for the HBO talk show Real Time with Bill Ma and the late night show Politically Incorrect, originally on Comedy Central and later on ABC. Bill Ma was raised in Rivervale, New Jersey, and attended Cornell University, graduating with majors in history and English. Ma started his stand up comedy career in 1979. Ma has also written several bestsellers. He was number 38 on Comedy Central's 2005 list of the 100 greatest stand-up comedians of all time. He received a Hollywood Walk of Fame star in 2010. Ma's comedy often throws comedic punches at organized religion. Religious, 2008, one of the highest grossing documentaries of all time, features Ma interviewing believers from different faiths, which generates many laughs and concludes with a more serious warning on the dangers of religion. He said on real time on February 17th, 2006, new rule, if churches don't have to pay taxes, they also can call the fire department when they catch fire. Sorry, Reverend, that's one of those services that goes along with paying in. I'll use the fire department I pay for. You can pray for rain. He said on real time in April 2008, if you have a few hundred followers and you let some of them molest children, they call you a cult leader. If you have a billion, they call you Pope. He told Jay Leno on The Tonight Show in 2004, I hate religion. I think it's a neurological disorder. Ma lines from Religious, in which he refers to himself as agnostic. Faith means making a virtue out of not thinking. Religion is dangerous because it allows human beings who don't have all the answers to think that they do rational people, anti-religionists, must end their timidity and come out of the closet and assert themselves. And those who consider themselves only moderately religious really need to look in the mirror and realize that solace and comfort that religion brings you actually comes at a terrible price. If you belong to a political party or social club, that was tied to so much bigotry, misogyny, homophobia, violence, and sheer ignorance as religion is, you'd resign in protest. To do otherwise is to be an enabler, a mafia wife, for the true devils of extremism that draw their legitimacy from the billions of their fellow travelers. If you believe that the world is going to come to an end, and perhaps any day now, Does it not drain one's motivation to improve life on earth while we are here? Belma goes goes on to say, when I hear from people that religion doesn't hurt anything, I say, really? Well, besides wars, the Crusades, the Inquisitions, 9-11, ethnic cleansing, the suppression of women, the suppression of homosexuals, fatwas, honor killing, suicide bombings, arranged marriages to minors, human sacrifice, burning witches, and systemic sex with children, I have a few little quibbles. And I forgot blowing up girls' schools in Afghanistan. Bill Maher has been advocating for atheists to get a cosmic personal day where the world revolves around them like Easter. He asked, is that really so much to ask? That this many people get one day a year where we recommit ourselves to observe reality? 
He went on to say that the country needs to stop talking about diversity, equity, and inclusion, unless it also includes atheists. Atheists, we're approaching a third of the population now. And I shouldn't have to beg for this for God's sake. It's outrageous that there are this many of us and there's still zero representation in government. Congress has 535 members and only a handful will even sheepishly admit they're religiously unaffiliated, he joked. No one has been able to admit their shameful secret. I don't believe in ghosts, he went on. Although there is a movement for schools to officially recognize Ramadan, the Muslim month of fasting, Ma pointed out that while approximately 3 million Americans celebrate Ramadan, 100 million say they have no religion at all. So where's our day, he asked. Is that really so much to ask? That this many people get one day a year where we recommit ourselves to observe reality? One day with no atonement, no corpse reanimation, no fasting, no tree in your house, no big rock to circle, no dirt on your forehead, no candles to light, and please, God, no fruitcakes. Just a yearly three-day weekend to celebrate your deeply held belief that with Monday off, you can drink on Sunday night and get to sleep in.